Well, this was uh, organized by NEA, National Environmental Agency, and uh, as partners, we showed the interest. We thought it's very important to join them in the program. Uh, as you can see, we are the team in Banjul, but uh, there is another team in Senegambia, another one in Tangier. There are four teams going around concurrently doing this. Uh, we thought it's very, very important that we join it because the environment is for us. That's, we, that's what we have as human beings. Uh, if it's clean, we are clean. If it is dirty, whether we know it or not, uh, it's going to harm us eventually. So it's very, it's very important. Okay, this is a, a one-day event. It's an international uh, uh, coastal cleaning cleanup day. Uh, it's a one-day event. We do not expect uh, to be able to clean the entire coast of the Gambia in one day. It is, it is definitely impossible. But we believe what we are doing is quite an example for everybody to emulate. It doesn't have to be one day. Cleaning should have to be, it's an everyday issue. And I believe we should all join hands to make sure that our environment is clean because no, it or not, directly or indirectly, it affects us. Yes, it affects the environment. Whether it's clean or not, it does affect us. From here down to our headquarters in Istanbul, everybody is aware of what is going on. And that's why we have, as a result, donated an amount of $2,000 towards the, the cleanup, what is going on today, uh, which we did. We, issue, we gave that money out sometime during the week. Uh, that's how important we see it, because we know we all operate in the environment. And corporate social responsibility is something we have to take very seriously. Our environment Environment. As I said earlier, if it is clean, we are clean because know it or not, there are other uh, living things that survive from from the sea, uh, be it fish, birds, animals, and some of these we consume. So if they happen to consume some of these uh, pollutants, what happens is they will pass whatever this is they catch, they can pass to us as humans. So eventually we find we can find ourselves in a very uh, dangerous situation. That's why we hold it as as a very important thing. And I commend NEA and all the other stakeholders that are here today to join this uh, program. The benefit, definitely, we are part of the society. I am a Gambian, we have some who are not, uh, but uh, we are all human. And uh, looking at the sea, looking at the ocean, uh, if you throw something here, sometimes where it ends up, it could be in the coast of Florida, in the United States, or somewhere else. That's how big the ocean is. So you never know the impact of whatever you do. Directly or indirectly, it is benefit, benefiting us, uh, both as an organization and also as individuals. Because as individuals, if it affects us, we are employees of different organizations. If you are sick, your organization will have to suffer for uh, the days, the hours they lose as a result. So it is quite uh, paramount and quite beneficial to us as humans. Yeah. So today what we are doing is to remove, to clean this as part of commemoration of the International Coastal Clean Clean Up Day to reduce this filth or to remove this filth. But this should be a routine exercise. Today alone is not adequate to clean all the filth along the beaches from Banjo down to this place, uh, how far along the coast, uh, this place. What, what is the name of this city? Carlton. You see? So it should be a routine exercise to clean these uh, our beaches. It's a good move, as you can see, the turn up was good and then it's been organized by NEA, Banyul City Council, and then I'm from uh, NGO community, that's WAPSA, which is the West African Bird Study Association. So the cleaning is very good, you know, if we all know the importance, it's very good. Well, the expectations are, we want to see that, I mean, the people come in large numbers to make the beach, you know, pollution free. That's what we expect. And as we can see, people, they have come, as I mentioned earlier on, they have come in large numbers from various institutions, departments, and organizations. And as you can see, they are doing the clean-up. And then we hope at the end of the day, the beach is environmentally polluted free. Do you think this is beneficial for the people? Not only for the people, but in the biodiversity in particular. Because if you look around, you don't see only people. If you look at on your you know, left-hand side, you can see birds. And then some of these birds, they depend entirely on the resources from the sea. So if the sea is polluted, it means that the birds will not have anything to feed and you will not see any birds. If you look around, you can see pelicans, you know, you can see gray-headed gulls, you can see common, you know, tans, you can see black tans, etc. And all these species are depending on the sea resources.